happy Monday and welcome back to the latest edition of the Laura and Becky show sponsored by Rolling Tap Mobile Bars and Box Bar. If you are a new listener, then hello, welcome. You have lots and lots of episodes to catch up on, which is good news for you. If you've come back for more, then as always, thank you. And thank you so much if you've been one of the lovely, lovely listeners who've given us a given us a like. Why do I sound drunk? Who've given us a like, a subscribe, a review, or a follow. If you haven't done them, please do it for us. Right, let's get started. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I almost find this a bit pointless today. <laughs> it's two minutes past eight in the evening. <laughs> this is not a good time for a daily podcast. But do you know what? It's going to be quite interesting, isn't it? Seeing if more if people listen. Yeah, <laughs> if more people listen in the evening, or if more people listen when we upload it in the morning, it's like a bit of a test tonight. I think, I've always said this, I think a lot of people listen to podcasts when they're walking or running or driving. Yeah. Okay. And I think um, in the evening, now in the summertime, great. I think, it, you know, obviously more people will listen. I think we're going to have to change this up when it starts getting dark. Oh, as in what? Recording and I think it at more night? People, no, 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 no. Oh. Earlier in the morning. Sorry. Earlier? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, we record it at like half nine. Well, yeah. No, listen, that's what I mean. I honestly think in the winter, pe- pe- people will be back in their cars in September. Yeah. Going to work, going to school again. All right. I do think, Becky, that occasionally, not every day, mm. don't worry. I know, I'm freaking out a bit I here. think we need to do it earlier on in the morning. Maybe we should do it a oh. poll on our Insta. I know, we need to see what people want, don't we, I suppose. But the thing is, right... No, no, sorry, oh, sorry, you God. guys. God, Becky can't be bothered. But the thing is, you know, when it's dark mornings, I don't like yeah, getting up that's early. The point. We are there to cheer people up. Oh, God, we used to have to do this on the radio law. But we had to, and our bosses made us go in. Uh, listen, pop it. I don't mean half seven. I what don't time mean are you six. talking about, I then? think about, like, eight... <laughs> Can we say half eight? No. Well, I think some days, let's do it as early as we can. I bet, right, you're saying this to me now. It'll come round to September, <laughs> October, it'll be dark, and you'll be like, no, love, I'm not getting up when it's this dark. I'll meet you there at 9.30. <laughs> anyway, this is late. We apologise. Yeah. Do we? No, well, yeah, we do, yeah. But if, if you are listening late tonight, if you're listening, perhaps we can put the kids to bed and you're having a little listen whilst you're having a bath or you're in bed or something, then um, tag us on Insta. We love getting your tags. Oh, we bloody do, yeah. Talking of Insta as well, um, this is something that we don't quite understand, but we're very excited about it. But now, Becky and I love a reel. We're a sucker for a reel. We like watching them. We like creating them we do uh occasionally we'll try and create a funny reel now we did a couple a couple of months ago and they were i think like over five thousand views i'm like oh that's done quite well oh we were really happy with that we're like hey god yeah done well then i think it's gone up to like, i think those are at like ten thousand. Mm. but bloody hell it's always the ones that you just like takes you two minutes to do yeah are we insta famous do you know what i think we <laughs> actually might be it's something something's happened this weekend hasn't it so <laughs> Laura and I um, did a reel. We were actually out having some drinks, weren't we? And it was just off the cuff. We did this little reel. And it's, if you go on to both of our Instas, at Laura Summers Lifestyle, at, oh, there Sorry. it is. That's the, Sorry. That's the reel. Turn it down. At Becky Hayes UK. If you look on the last reel we've done, we're both in black tops and like blue jeans. And we're just like holding our wines and we sort of twist them around a bit, don't we? Yeah, it's kind of like an optical illusion. Yeah, I mean, t- to be fair, it's quite good. I saw someone else on Instagram, I just copied it and I was like, yep, that looks good, we'll do that. And first take, one take wonder. I, no, I mean, there were some, uh, do you remember the guys yeah, in the bar who were watching us <laughs> doing well, it? What the hell are they doing? But, I mean, what are we on now, Law? Uh, currently at 25.8k views. I, I think mean, I think we'll get to 26k before the night is out. This is unbelievable. Like, Literally, every time I log on to Insta, there's more like likes yeah. and comments. And it, you know when you click on the audio that you've mm. used, you can see like who else has used it and who's getting the most like, comments and likes and things. We've looked on ours. It's only the blooming first one on there. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Do we get a check in the post? What happens? I don't, do we get a blue tick on Insta? Are we going to be verified? I don't know, but it's really weird. And also I did a chicken reel. Well, no, when you post a video now on Insta, it goes on as a reel. Yeah. And I posted like a really little one of my chickens and I was like oh no I don't want to do that because I still like the fact this one is first on my reels. Yes. Oh she deleted it did you? Yeah. Well what we're thinking is right because Laura and I don't really understand why it's done so well at all but we've kind of like got a bit of a 
um, what's the word I'm looking for? Theory. Theory. That's the one. So we think because it's got, um, because there's like, there's some of them have got like a million views, Mm. but not many likes and comments. Whereas ours has got 25, 26, I'll say, thousand views. But we've got, we've got loads of likes and we've got lots of comments. So I think it pushes it up the old algorithm. I think it's the ratio, isn't it? Like views to likes and comments. If you've got so many views, but you get quite a lot of likes and comments, it pushes you up. But hey, what we're thinking is we want to keep this going. We want to remain insta famous don't we yeah for as long as we can yeah so go go and have a look at our instas so it's uh laura summer's lifestyle or becky hayes uk or both find our real and just like it and comment and be like oh this is amazing this is the best reel i've ever seen yeah yeah the best one ever ever the best one ever please put a comment because then yeah it'll keep us um Famous. Well, famous, yeah. Uh, my husband, <laughs> I was going out to Tesco today with my husband. I went, bloody hell, you're never going to guess what. Becky and I have done a reel. It's got 25,000 views. And he went, what? And he went, let me see it. I showed it him and he went, I fucking hate people on the internet. <laughs> what? Well, he hates us. What he he went, hate Why is 25,000 people watch that? <laughs> is he on Instagram, your husband? No, he hates it. I was like, you're so miserable. He's like, Oh my God, why have so many people watched that? <laughs> he's got like, a point. He's got a point. You know, and yeah, but I was just laughing. I was like, oh my God, there's a reason you're not do, on Instagram. Do he just what? doesn't get it. Do you know what I actually thought you were going to say then? What? That you went into Tesco with your husband and someone recognised you and <laughs> said, go from the real. <laughs> So Rolling Tap Mobile Bars are one of our lovely sponsors of the podcast. Just been having another little stalk of them on Instagram. Guess what they do? Uh, cocktails. Yep, but cocktail masterclasses. Now, this is really cool. This is it's, this would be quite a good thing to do. You know, if it's like maybe a friend's birthday or even a Hindu. Do you know what? I mean, we don't really need an occasion, do we? No. Even if you just fancy doing something a <laughs> yeah. little bit different. If it's a rainy day, if it's, I don't know, if you're if a bit bored. If there's a why in yeah. the day. <laughs> I quite fancy this. I, don't, I haven't done a cocktail masterclass for years. I've never done one. We need to get on this, don't we? Yeah, this is great. Yeah. So if you fancy checking them out or booking them for any event that you've got coming up, have a look at them on Insta, Rolling Tap Mobile Bars. <laughs> Right, so over the weekend you were down south. Well, down it's like southwest. Yeah, Not yeah, Square, yeah, southwest. Yeah, um, and I was up here. We weren't on social media a lot at all. In fact, no. On Sunday, I put my phone in a drawer. Yeah, see, you've just told me this, and I am intrigued. Mm. I, I have heard of other people doing this. Actually, I've just I've never done it myself. But does it work? Um, well, I just got up in the morning. And I felt a little bit. Like a bit funny. I don't know why. I was just a bit like, well, well, like anxious. Yeah, or... kind of. Just a bit like, oh, I couldn't focus on a thought. Mm. I know sometimes you've got like, oh. so yeah. I just thought, oh, do you know what? I'm going to have a day off bloody Instagram. You do need it, don't you, yeah. every now and again? But then I thought, oh, my temptation is just to watch other people but not post anything. And I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to come off it completely, mm. even WhatsApp, everything. I knew where you were. Mm. The rest of my family were with me. There's not really anyone else <laughs> I need to talk to. My sister was, oh, do you know what I mean? I just thought if someone desperately needed to get hold of me, they'd ring James, yeah. right? Pop my phone in a drawer, shut the drawer, and I left it the which, whole day. Which drawer out of interest? My bedside table. And was the temptation there to go up and go into the drawer yeah. and take the phone out? Yeah. How did you stop yourself, Law? Uh, what did I do? Because there were people listening who are going through similar things. I, <laughs> they need to know. I went to the gym. I went swimming. I went. I did some gardening. Went out for a nice Sunday afternoon drive in the husband's Alpha to the Peacock in Cutthorpe. Oh, By yeah. yourself? Me and James, yeah. Love it. Had a little rosé. Oh, nice. uh, got home, cooked tea, and then oh, I've been watching Uncoupled on Netflix. Mate, you need to, to watch it. I was literally talking about this today. I, I do need to watch it. So this is the Netflix series. It's like the male version of Sex and the City, isn't it? Yeah, they are gay men. It's brilliant. Oh, it's absolutely it. brilliant. There's only eight episodes, but yeah. there, there is a second series. But that occupied me. And yeah, and then I just, before I went to sleep, I just checked a few messages. There was obviously some from you, but I thought, well, I can talk to you in the morning. That's mm. fine. Went to sleep. Did you feel better for being off it for the day? Oh, uh, yeah, 100%, which is quite worrying. Do you remember that time that I came off Insta for a bit? Mm. Was it? I think it was last year, and I actually came off it for probably about a month or so mm. and actually like because th- I'm, I'm addicted to social media for sure mm. but when I was off it I became addicted to not going on it oh, I thought you were gonna be like <laughs> cocaine <laughs> yeah well <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
I just wondered what you were going to say. I replaced one addiction <laughs> with another. No, FYI, I'm not addicted to cocaine. To anyone in fact, I've never even done it in my life, okay? <laughs> just in case anyone's worried. Um, no, but I really enjoyed it. And also, <laughs> this weekend, I was at a festival and it, there was no signal there. I enjoyed being off my phone so much and because I literally physically couldn't go on there because there was yeah. no signal I had no choice yeah I mean, if I put it in a phone I probably would have gone and had a sneaky look yeah but it was actually it was really good I think it's good for your soul isn't it to just be off yeah. it for a bit and live in the moment and not look at what everyone else is doing yeah I mean we need <clears throat> for work and I was on it a lot throughout the week for work yeah and I just had enough by Friday evening I was like oh god it does um, fry your brain but doesn't you it? do just kind of in your spare time just go on in, you know like, just yeah. scrolling through real real so yeah put my phone in a drawer for the whole day so I think probably what I'm going to try and do is probably try and do it once a week I was just going to say this to you right why don't we encourage Should each other the same day yes 100% <laughs> like, I think we have a... but then what we'll do is I'll be like are you doing it love yeah. <laughs> are you off your phone <laughs> <laughs> are you actually doing it what we'll are you up to Rosé like, yeah. yep, okay <laughs> We will be checking up on each other. But I do think that's a really good idea. We should have the same day or like, or maybe an afternoon to start. Maybe not the full day. Do you know what though as well? Um, this, this is the thing with landlines. I think I'd probably put my phone away a bit more if I had a landline. Would someone, you though? Someone would just ring me if they needed me. Do you know what I thought as well? Quite miss the sound of a landline. Same. And you know that like click when you pick it up yeah. out of the thing that that. Yeah, love that I do sound. kind of miss it. My parents put pay. Have I talked about this before on this podcast? My parents put a payphone in the house. I think you told me this. You haven't said it on the All podcast. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely talk about that this week. But yeah, okay, we'll that, come back. That, in fact, let me put that, that on our, in our little group we've got. Hang oh on. yeah, podcast content. <clears throat> Everything is content. Everything is no, content. No <laughs> you pop that down. Love. Payphone. There you go, guys. That's something exciting to listen out for. <laughs> it's a good it's story. In. It's a good it story. Um, Oh, it's just popped up as well. I was like, oh, I've got a message. Oh, no, it's Laura's payphone. <laughs> and that's how bad my memory is. <laughs> so it's time to talk about our lovely sponsors, Box Bar. Now, we have done an exercise class there. And we have to say, the room that you go into to do your classes, because it's all in the same room, is incredible do you know what it reminds me of you know when you watch like um something like i don't know sex in the city or something and they go to a, like they go to a, a a fitness class and it's kind of that isn't it, it looks yeah. really cool it, like you want to go there and have a go yeah it's like some somewhere that you'd find in like london or new york or yeah, something it's exactly that yeah it's really cool so inside it's quite a dark room but it's got really cool lighting it's got a boxing ring slap bang in the middle that has like this really cool down lighting on it doesn't yeah. it and then you kind of exercise around that but there's like boxing punch uh, punch bags bags yeah, they're all like it. hanging from the ceiling they're, they're very cool looking aren't they yeah great sound system so it sounds awesome and we were just talking about this and you were like oh I like the fact they've got those face sprays at the end and I was like <laughs> isn't that what you spray your equipment down with imagine if you'd have got one and be like no I don't know I'm spritzing my face I did think they were just to cool you down you just grab like a bottle and you spray your face no. and then to cool you down but are they to clean I equipment I think they were clean they, I mean, they look really cool, whatever they, whatever they are. I have to say as well, I like a dark exercise room. I, yes. I hate it if it's too, too bright, bright and too light. And that is nice and dark in there. Yeah, if you want to check them out, go and have a look. It's boxbar.co.uk. <laughs> right, what is going on in the world? I've shown you the funniest video, haven't I? So you sent me this over the weekend, but obviously I didn't really have much signal, so I haven't properly looked at it, but you've just shown it me. This is, honestly, this has actually riled me a little bit. This is all over a sandwich as well. This is what made me giggle. This is over a sandwich. Now, don't get me wrong, I bloody love a good sandwich. I love a good sandwich. Tell them your favourite, lot. Cheese and beetroot, a bit of mayo. Laura got me into, um, so I'm just putting my shorts because I'm awfully tight. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Laura's <laughs> got problems there, love. I have. <laughs> problems with, problems I could play the shorts. clip of what you said yeah. at the start of the podcast right now. Shall I say it now? I might be. <laughs> oh, God. Um, what was I going to say? Right, back to sandwiches. Um, you got me into cheese and beetroot sandwiches. Oh, yes. Thought it'd be vile. Delicious. It's delicious. So uh, it's obviously the time of year where farmers. Harvest? Yeah. A combine harvesting, yeah. yeah. And um, it's basically a video of this guy stood in the middle of a field in front of a combine harvester, losing his shit because the combine harvester has sprayed some, I don't know what, onto his family's picnic and it's ruined his sandwich. 
This is ridiculous, right? So I have got um, Uncle Dick in my family who is a farmer. So I kind of, uh, I, I've, <laughs> I've seen him talking about other people coming onto his land and all that sort of thing and people causing problems, blah, blah, blah. So I, I get it from the farmer's point of view. But this person that you were talking about that was stood in front of the car, co- <laughs> combine harvester, he was in the next field, wasn't he? Having a picnic with his family. Yeah. This farmer, a woman actually, wasn't it? Yeah is doing her combining and they only get a certain amount of time farmers to actually combine here and we go. here we go <laughs> here she goes I'm I'm to- knew. I'm I talking- grew up on I grew up on a farm <laughs> go on you I'm tell I'm talking us. about my farming background <laughs> and I mean listen if you've watched Jeremy Clarkson's farm you'll also yeah. know this you know um <laughs> It's very, the time frame mm. is short when you can combine harvest. So you've got to get it done. You've got to make hay whilst <laughs> the sun shines, as they say, right? So what you don't need is some idiot who's having a, a picnic in the next field complaining about getting dust on their sandwich. However, <laughs> however, I know what you're like when it comes to food and complaining, right? And I thought about this and I thought if we had had a nice picnic and we had, let's say, a cheese and beetroot roll, right, that was delicious and maybe a glass of rosé and someone sprayed and ruined it, I think that'd be you. I'd well, be yeah, like, go I mean, on, Becky, you go and complain. Go on, you go. Listen, I'd probably be a bit livid, but I'm not going to go and stand in front of a blooming combine half. Well, maybe after a rose, I would actually. <laughs> what a ticket. I mean, they could have been killed. I know. That's do you think bad. your Uncle Dick would have run him over? Dick would have lost his mind, they do, right? Like, I love farmers, but they do get very angry. Oh, God, well, listen, listen to this, right? Dick gets very angry. So Dick um, has got a farm and there's obviously public footpaths going through his farm, which farmers hate. Right? Yes. They don't like people walking on their land. No. Um, so I've been with Dick before because Dick likes to take me up his fields and like show me his <laughs> crops and things, okay? Oh, God almighty. <laughs> Sounds like I'm talking in coda. I'm not. This is genuine. Um, and we've been in his fields before. And there's been some ramblers who've probably gone off the, the public footpath and like stumbled into one of his fields. It happens and it happens by accident a lot of the time. Dick loses it. Oh, I bet. He literally goes over and starts shouting. He goes red. He starts ranting and raving. Anyway, saw um, Uncle Dick the other weekend, right? And he was telling me a story about how he'd been to, they've got a local village pub. And there, apparently there was a wedding going on there. But Dick happened to stumble into the wedding. They were all like, yeah, come and join us. No problem. So he went in and a woman recognised him and she pointed to him and went, oh, I recognise you. She went, you shouted at me in your field from, for walking through your fields. Anyway, Dick was really embarrassed because obviously he was at her wedding party. Oh, no. He was like, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they bonded and oh, uh, oh. he's, he's now going to her. She's having a do in a couple of weeks time. She's invited him. So it all ended well. Well, when I used to live in a lovely village called Cutthorpe, um, we had a farmer that um, my sister's dog escaped into his farm and he nearly shot it. He came round and like was so angry and threatened to shoot it. Anyway, fast forward a couple of weeks, farmer Jeff became our best mate after that. Yeah, it's so handy knowing a farmer. It actually is. They just know a lot, don't they? But he had a hole in the side of his neck and it used to really bug me. Did you ask him why? No, I didn't, no. It's as if someone had just poked a pencil in his <laughs> neck and it had never healed. It's really bugged me. I just wanted to stare at this hole from. in his neck. I don't know. Yeah. Probably some farming accident. Oh, it's bound to be, isn't it? <laughs> right then, mate, tell me. Tell me. Now, I haven't spoken to you about this at all. You've literally walked through the door. We've started the podcast. So all I know is you've gone a bit hippy dippy on yeah, me do i i didn't think you were going to recognize me um tonight actually so i went to a festival this weekend right uh now before going i was really scared about going was i was like i'm not a festival person i don't want to do this it's not for me being stuck in a tent for three days and drinking the whole time and the fields are all gonna be muddy it's gonna be awful well i couldn't have been more wrong mate i couldn't have loved it more <laughs> I think I'm a festival goer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, when I say I went all in at this festival, I went all in. See, that's good, though, because that's what you should do. So you did the right thing. Yeah, if you're going to go somewhere, I think you've got to just get involved. If you can't beat them, join them, haven't you? Now, I need to talk about some of the photos that you sent me. One, you were at a sound bath. 
Yes. So um, there was a, a few podcasts ago, I can't remember when it was, you talked about wanting to go to a gong bar, yes. didn't you? Yeah. In Chesterfield. Yeah. You know, we haven't yet been. We are We are going to go at some point. Um, at this festival, it's quite family friendly, this festival, to be fair. It was quite, it was probably quite a good one to like, you know, my, mm. as my first one. And I mean, it was very hot over the weekend, wasn't it? And I was a bit tired this one day. Went past a tent. It was a gong bath tent. Nice. So I lay down with uh, all the hippies that were in there. Well, there's one woman that was like face down, like she's <laughs> dead. I was like, Jesus. They did, they did look like corpses in yeah. there. I'm not going to lie. Did you sleep? Mate, I fell asleep. It was so like hot. And obviously I'd had a little bit of booze as well. Right. Um, I just fell asleep in there. Just passed out. It, it, honestly, it was so relaxing. But it's the most simplest thing. So there was kind of like a bold guy there who was gonging a bong. Didn't really say much. I mean, he must have the easiest job in the world. Just going, bong. Gonging a bong? Bong. Or, or what's it called? That big steel thing? A That's big... the gong. Oh, gong. So he's bonging the gong. No, what's he? <laughs> gonging the bong. Hitting the bong. What's he doing to it's it? It's not then? a bong, it's a gong. Where have you got bong from? <laughs> Fuck. Hang on, what's a the gong? gong is a thing you smoke, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> what? What's that big circular a gong? Thing? That's what it's called, a gong but bath. What do they hit it with? A st- he was, he was hitting Where a gong. He? he was hitting. But mate, mate, there was no bath there. No bath. No. <laughs> I thought there would be a bath there. What you thought? Every, so when you were going to go to this gong bath, yeah, you think we'd get in a bath? Yeah, I thought we'd all be in bath and someone gongs. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <That's> what, <laughs> what are you actually not joking? Yes. I swear to God, that's what I thought. I promise you that. But why is it called a gong bath if there's no bath there? Because I think it's just like... What do they call it? A gong session? You. <laughs> or a gong lie down? <laughs> I don't get it. Where's the bloody bath? Where's the bloody bath? <laughs> Who's in charge here? Where's the bloody bath? We need to talk about that as well, don't we? Who's in charge here? Oh, in fact, let me pop that in the group as um, well. Now, talking of festivals, I've never been to a festival. It's my idea of absolute hell. However, well, actually, no, first of all, I went to Reading Festival last year. Um, you were for working some, there, For some work, you? yeah. <clears throat> and um, it was the worst experience <laughs> of my entire life. It was horrific. It was <laughs> awful. It was like you would pay to go and live like, I don't know, like, I don't know, a homeless person, but worse. I do because think Reading's quite hardcore. Of you. They're all 15, 16 year olds. Yeah. It's horrific. The atmosphere was awful. <laughs> Fights. It was disgusting. Fights. It was disgusting. The toilet, it was disgusting. Oh, talk to me about the toilets. I can't. Were they that bad? I didn't use them. Oh. It was disgust. that it was vile, like vile. At this festival that I went to, there was a couple from Reading there. They were talking about Reading Festival and they said as well, they were like, it's hell on earth. Yeah, it's in Reading city centre. What the yeah, hell? Yeah. I don't know why they have that on. Find another place for it. It's horrific, right? I've been to Latitude though. Yeah. Lovely. Why is that, Latitude? Is it towards Norfolk? It's Norfolk, isn't it? I think. I don't know. But it's, that's chilled family i'd like quite like to go there well it did get me thinking after this weekend that we oh should go God. i do think you oh. listen i know next you year, well maybe next year I'll, I'll be up for next year but i do think that we need quite a chilled one that's in quite nice surround it's not in reading city center for god's sake let's go somewhere nice and picturesque okay. but i think you'd i think you go in i mean mate this weekend i glitter on my face i, I have braids in my hair you you would not have recognised me. Do you know me. what? They're good on you for going and getting stuck in. Are you proud of me? Yeah. Do you know what? I am. Cheers, I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed about the gong bar situation, but let's just move on from that. Um, <laughs> right. Have we finished? Yes. We can talk more about what, what you got up to, you know, in the week, can't we? We can indeed, yes. Are we going to go and have a rose and a catch-up? I think we are, yes. Yeah. So obviously a bit later tonight, but still enjoy. And yeah. we'll be back a bit earlier tomorrow, won't we? We'll be back. 